just believe this. Uh, look at this. And therefore, we are certain that the government of Country X is actively pursuing WNDs. WMDs? Gotta love the acronyms that breed up like rabbits. <sighs> Another success. Off to bash the heads of the head people. Who are they again? I know I should know this, but they change every two years. Or is it four? What? No, this, this can't be happening. I only dealt with this stupid place ten years ago. This does not need to happen again. This can't happen again. <sighs> Three months after the invasion of Country X, we're still seeing a vast amount of looting environment. Sod off, anarchy. Don't you have some small developing country to molest? This person is in my domain. Go back to the places you belong. We were told by the government that there were weapons of mass destruction in country X. But when the international inspectors were allowed in, they found no evidence of it. Or there ever being any there in the past eight years. This leads us to the question, who was telling the truth, the sadistic dictator of country X or our own government? So who can we trust? Who? Honestly, yes, it's obvious while it's lying. I was lying. Son of a lie. At one time, though, there were enough weapons of mass destruction to mob half the country. See? Which leads us to one conclusion. Our government lied to us. <laughs> what were you two talking about? The state of the economy. Can I trust either of you? Yeah. And since it appears the evidence found by the NGO, Kent's Nuco Committee was deemed. Dude, what? Where the hell is my phone? Give that back. You're not supposed to touch reality. I can't mess with what you've done. Put it back. Hey! Back. Good girl. <laughs> this marble is no one of importance. So what if they don't have an opinion on the mess? It's not like they're a politician or anyone with power. <sighs> She's a journalist. Pure and simple, working class Joe, no effect on the world. May I remind you, the last time you talked about someone this way, he started a major war. Really? Who was it? No one in the <laughs> It's been over 60 years since that's happened. How do we get from talking about this person to... Um, weren't you the one who told me to never underestimate the power of one? I was young then. It was before you three started all that mess. You cannot blame us for what happened to what you view as a utopia. Now if you must excuse me, I must discuss with someone about a play. We're thinking reality. See, man, about a play. Did I hear that correctly? I thought honesty needed dramas. People change. But we can't afford to. We must remain constant. We all change. Damn it, 30 minutes. Get this done. You know, you should put your opinion in the editorial to make sure that the world knows your opinion. What? Is there something you neglected to tell me? <laughs> no, my dearest sister, why? <laughs> Tell me. No. I don't need honesty here to know that you're lying. You don't scare me. Without me, you would never have come Anarchy, by your true name, I order you. Honesty said that. <sighs> All right. And therefore, I beg you to consider the stated, the stated facts. We may not fully comprehend our government's reasons for getting us involved in the com into the complex and dangerous international politics surrounding country X. I do not want to force, 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 I'll hash it out later. My opinions on you merely cause you to think. Four, what is law without the threat of anarchy? 